Welcome back to JB Reviews. Today we're gonna to be doing a video on how to set up a trailer for a Toyota Tundra. Now, if you haven't seen my last videos, you probably should go back and watch them so that way you have an understanding of some of the features on this truck. This one does have air suspension and that's gonna probably make this towing experience a lot better because you can lower down the hitch and pretty much go under your coupler but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the technology that you have and we'll check out the mirrors and we will hook up today too by the way but before we do that let's check out the payload capacity anytime you're planning on towing a trailer these numbers are going to be always really important to you so you have a gross axe weight rating up front at 4080 pounds the rear is going to be 3860 pounds not sure why they put a better axle in the front versus the rear. Pretty interesting. You normally see it flip-flopped. And gross fuel weight rating, this is pretty high for a half ton, but it's 7,365 pounds. Typically, they're like 7,000 to 7,100 pounds. But Toyota trucks are super heavy, which you'll see right here. So as far as the truck goes, this truck has a payload capacity of 1,390 pounds. And then keep in mind, they do reduce the payload because of some of the accessories that were added to this truck. So you have to take off an additional 22 pounds from 1,390 pounds. If you don't know your gross combined weight rating or your towing capacity is, you can find this information in the owner's manual. I'll show you guys where to find the model code at, but if you scroll down, the code for this particular truck is right here. So here's the gross combined weight rating and the towing capacity. Toyota does not offer any fifth wheel prep package for this truck, and for good reason. But you do get a class four receiving hitch. So this is typically rated for like about 10,000 pounds. And I do have this hitch that I cannot use because it sticks out too far. So I'm gonna have to buy a new one. And yeah, so this is rated for about 14,000 pounds and class four receiver hitches typically have a two inch opening here and then here's some of the hardware for your chains so you will have to get a smaller pin as you can see down here because my chains for my trailer and most trailers are pretty big so it's going to be really hard to get that in there they do provide a four and seven pin we're going to be using that seven pin today and they do have a backup camera with a light for your conventional hitch. Now let's talk about the payload for a second here. Anytime you look at a half ton truck, it's gonna have anywhere between 1200 pounds of payload up to maybe 2200 pounds, typically. Some people will probably chime in and say, well, my half ton has 2500 pounds of payload or has 2600 pounds. Well, that's not the norm. And you can opt for two wheel drive versus four wheel drive, which will give you some payload. You can skip a lot of options to give you more payload. The only problem with Toyota though, I would tell you to go to a lower trim level, but they don't do it the same as everybody else. I did a review on a SR model and they do have the lower output twin turbo V6 and they lower the GVWR. So you still almost have about the same amount of payload, which I don't understand. It's like they don't want you to tow your truck. I'll talk about that in a second, but let's go ahead and start this truck up. Um, I'm going to show you guys some of the camera views you have. This does have that trailer brake right below the start button. And if you want to put the truck in tow haul mode, the button's right there. And let's go ahead and check out some of your views. So I'm going to put it in reverse actually. So let's go ahead and back up. And you guys pretty much see you have a line and it does rotate too with your um, steering wheel too. I like that they give that to you and if you want you can change some of the lines too that you see and they do have stuff for trailer backup too. Let's go ahead and push this button here. So trailer backup guide. So this says no save trailers, TBG canceled, push OK to add a trailer. So we're gonna do that in a second. I like how clear this is. You also can zoom in a little bit and you can get a different camera view for your coupler so you can make it a little bit easier to hook up. But let's go ahead and talk about setup. So we're gonna use these arrows here on the side. And let's go ahead and push okay. 
but I'm, I'm gonna go back. I want you guys to see where you can find this stuff at. Now right here, it says here, no trailer selected. Um, if you hold okay to change settings, it'll let you set up the menu. So select or add a trailer. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's add a trailer. We're gonna do this one as cargo. And you can rename the trailer. You can um, pretty much set up the hitch. So they do provide a gooseneck and fifth wheel. So if you do want to tow a fifth wheel gooseneck, they do have that set up there for you too. But we're going to do this one here. Uh, like I said, you can rename the trailer. Actually, no, they don't allow you to actually select a name. It says, oh, if you want to change it to a cargo to utility or vice versa, whatever you want to do. Now, length, you can do it automatic or you can just kind of set it yourself. So this is basically a 30 foot trailer when you consider the tongue. You can set up how many axles, so two or more. Brake type. So this is important. So you have to make sure you set this up accordingly. So it, this pretty much goes up to 5,000 plus. And then we can hit save. And then trailer save, do you want to select this trailer to use? Yes. So now trailer detected, trailer mode, BSM active with cargo. So there you go. So we're pretty much selected to the cargo trailer. So let's go ahead and back up now. That way you guys can pretty much see this in action. So I'm pretty much under it. I, I actually just moved the trailer. So this is actually pretty easy, but here's the other camera view there. I would like to see where you can like zoom in like this if they ever do that for you, but you can actually change it to, you don't have to click here, I just noticed that. So you can click anywhere in the screen. I like that they do that, it makes it more convenient because towing is stressful. Now, as I mentioned, unfortunately, I gotta go buy a hitch. I have this one and it sticks out way too far. So basically my seven pin actually popped out of here that is super unsafe especially when you're towing with half ton trucks we cannot use this hitch unfortunately so i gotta go spend more money this month which i did not want to do to make sure i have the right setup all the other half tons that i've towed with i guess this seven pin was maybe somehow closer maybe because they never popped out so i, I guess i gotta figure out what i gotta do here so in order for me to tow, unfortunately, I gotta go buy a hitch and I definitely wanna tow because that's probably why you guys are here. So stay tuned. That's why we're not gonna do a towing in this video. And so we are gonna hook up. That way you guys can see the air suspension in action and all that stuff. So we will do that at the very least. And we can plug in at the very least so you guys can see the trailer brake shut up too. But here's what we're gonna do next. I'm going to basically hook up to the truck i'm going to use the air suspension to lift up the pickup but let's go ahead and drop this down just a little bit just a little bit by right there should be good i'm gonna pull up just a little bit too and then hopefully you guys can see the truck lift up the hitch and it should be able to fall almost inside that coupler So it was in its lowest setting and now it's going to be going into the highest setting so it is going up it's kind of slow and that's okay but this is good for hitching up and unhitching too now when i do tow this trailer i am going to tow it basically in the normal ride height because in the highest setting it's too high and then in the lowest setting obviously it's going to be too low so it's almost there actually, that's really cool. I do like that about the air suspensions. That's super awesome. And even when I was actually hooking up in my garage, I could hear it doing something too. So as the trailer was putting the tongue weight on the truck, it was literally like lifting it back up. So super nice function. Ram has something similar to this, although theirs is on all four corners. But well, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna set the camera up again for you guys so you guys can see how much squat it gives. All right.
Man, that is so cool. So it is lifting up the trailer. You can kind of see it happening a little bit. And this is in the highest setting, but it definitely does look like it's squatting, isn't it? And the trailer is actually level too. I like that about it. Man, if only Toyota gave you more payload capacity or at least offered a three quarter ton truck. Wow. It looks really good in front of my trailer too, guys. When you go to put the seven pin plug, there's like this little tab right here that slides in. So you have to turn it to the right and then it locks it in. But as I mentioned, I don't have enough slack, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. I could probably buy an adapter or something. I, I might go inside the trailer to see if I can pull that cord maybe a little bit more to get myself more slack, but I don't think I'll be able to. I think that's all of it. Yep, that's all of it. So it says here, trailer detected. And so let's go ahead and do this. Let's go back. So let's see if we can add some gain. So here's what you gotta do. You gotta push the plus sign here. So you can see the gain going up. I normally do about eight and a half to nine for half tons. For HDs, you can do like seven, seven and a half. Should be good. And then what I normally do too is I'll go forward a little bit and it should be able to stop the truck. Now check this out real quickly. So you see that little green marker right there? So when I push the brake all the way down, that's only showing 50% uh, for the trailer brake. So if you need more input from the brake, you gotta pull this. Cause watch this, if I pull this, it gives you 100%. I'm not sure why Toyota did that. I'm not sure why they did that. But yeah, with the brake pedal, it only gives you 50%. And so you're gonna have to really get familiar where that trailer brake is. It's kind of in a bad spot down here, but you know, it is what it is. You just have to learn where that is because sometimes in, in really bad situations, you might have to pull that guy and you just need to always know where it's at at all times. But uh, that's pretty much, I think, all I want to show you guys. I think that the truck is definitely a good option for towing maybe five or 6,000 pounds, but Toyota doesn't really build the Tundra for towing consistently. And I'll talk about that in another, another video. I don't know if I showed you guys where the air suspension was, but there's the button right here. And it is in its highest setting, so I'm gonna put it in the normal. And then, like I said, we'll pretty much end the video off right there. It doesn't look like it changed at all, really. It looks like it's at the same height still. It's squatting a little bit, but it's not too bad. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is tires. If you are looking to tow with a half ton, you're gonna have to change these tires off. It looks like the suspension's doing something right now. I think it's going up just a little bit. But yeah, like I was saying, these Geolanders tires through Yokohama are not really set up for towing. They're really set up for cruising and fuel mileage. So here's the tire size here, 265.60. And then here's the max capacity. So 2,469 pounds at 51 PSIs. So I hope you guys were able to see that. So whenever you are trying to unhook your trailer, the air suspension is gonna automatically adjust. So we're gonna basically drop it down to the lowest setting. That way it allow the hitch to unhook. And there it is. That's it. Super easy. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, I am really excited to tow with this truck. I just gotta go buy a hitch today. And then hopefully I will be done spending money. But yeah, be sure to subscribe guys. Video's coming soon. And we'll pretty much see how this Toyota Tundra does towing a 28 foot uh, car hauler, race trailer, whatever you wanna call it, down the road. Is it worth upgrading to HD or will this half ton get the job done? We'll see. See you guys in the next video.